One of the first people groups to emerge out of slavery in the Western Hemisphere is the country of Haiti. Over the past decades, Haitians have been forced to leave the terrible conditions of their homeland and have involved, and that has involved the deaths of countless people. Our migration to this city has been an enriching experience for Greater Boston. Haitians represent one of the largest people groups in the Boston area. Within a 20 mile radius, there are some 54 Haitian churches. The first Haitian church of Boston was also, and also the largest, uh, Pastor LaRoche and Reverend, uh, is pastor of it. Reverend Noel and his wife, a pastoral team, uh, also pastor the, uh, <coughs> the Haitian church of God in Boston, the mother church from some 25 other churches, kind of from that one church. Not, not quite uh, where uh, uh, we heard from uh, the Hispanic community, but uh, tremendous church development occurring. The key leader who represents networks broadly of the Haitian diaspora is Reverend Sali Vadreen from Manning Gospel Center, Minister at Large, the pastor of this church that we're meeting in, that's hosting this event. He is going to tell, tell us about a global vision of Protestantism, an event that brings together many Haitians from all over the world to strategize regarding the future of Haitian Christianity in our world. Uh, we hope that uh, this vision will even inspire other groups to do similar things. Reverend Verdreen. Thank you. Thank you. Doug and Judy have been praying for me to be short, so. I have the first answer. Once again, we welcome you here. And, uh, back in 1989, there was Rosam II in, in Manila. And thanks to the Lord, but thanks to Dr. Hall and Mrs. Hall of the Emmanuel Gospel Center, who really went out and find a church that sponsored my trip to Manila, you know, at Rosam, to attend Rosam II. And one of the goals of Rosam II was to help the attendant, the attendee, to get a vision of the status of Christianity you know, at the end of the 20th century in his own country or local city. So when I left Manila, I had that big dream to know at what point the gospel was in Haiti and among the Haitians. And here in Boston, I was already a liaison person working with the many pastors of the community. So I began you know, to uh, bring the pastors together to think of the status of Christianity here in Greater Boston. And there is a story for you, the story of the Haitian church in Boston, 1969, 2002, that you can read back home. How uh, the church grew in Boston, one church in 1969 to about 54 churches in 2002 in the past 35 years. You can read the story. But then uh, that was not enough. Back in also the 20th century came to a close. Uh, I decided to meet with other uh, leaders in not only in the US but also in Canada and Haiti and other countries to bring them together to study the status of Protestantism uh, among the highest Haitian communities of the world. So in uh, November of 1998, we held the first global vision of Protestantism among the Haitians in Miami. And uh, we brought people from about uh, nine or ten countries of the world and we were very, very encouraged to hear what God is doing. And at that time, we took a decision that every five years we would come together again to study the status of Christianity among the Haitians. I just returned from Miami three weeks ago. And we have our next Global Vision meeting that will take place November 5th, November 4th, 2003 in West Palm Beach, Florida. And then we have uh, come to realize that Haitians are now in 17 countries of the world. And we are trying to connect with those 17 countries and to bring delegates to West Palm Beach next November to see how the gospel is doing. And uh, then here in our church, and in every September we have delegates from about seven or eight countries to come to our Harvest Sunday. But we want that to, to be increased. And we praise God that about a year ago, we even bought a piece of land next door that we're going to work on it and build the first international Haitian Youth Center here in Boston 
uh, a place where a youth will come from every part of the world, be immersed in the gospel, and go back to Haitian youth in Cuba, in Jamaica, in Bahamas, in France, may I say also in Ivory Coast in Africa, Haitians are there, in Togo, in Benin, and of course in Haiti itself. So that from Boston once again, the gospel can be heard, the gospel can be spread. And uh, we hope that the idea of studying you know, the status of Christianity beyond the four walls of your church, beyond the walls of your denomination, into the wall of the kingdom, will be not just my vision, but your vision to have the global vision of the kingdom, kingdom of God, where you are. It's a pleasure to be here, but also a pleasure to welcome some of our leaders in the community. I ask Pastor Tumar, Pastor Dumani, Mrs. Solini, my wife, and all those Haitian delegates who can stand as we, we are testing another aspect of the religion. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity, and we leave you with the hope that you will seek in the world worldwide. God bless you.